All right, so this is a recipe from the meal prep manual for dad. Uh, this is the peanut butter and jelly breakfast squares, so I'm just going to follow along here and narrate, but this is starting with the three scoops of oatmeal. Three cups of oatmeal. And I have this at 150% speed, so we're not here all day. Then I have two one-third cup scoops of almond flour. This is where you get a new bag because you ran out, because clearly I prepared for this. We have one teaspoon of baking powder. And we are doing two cups of hemp milk. I reckon any kind you want will work. This is also where I get a fresh bottle because I planned this really well. And ran out. And I'm putting two eggs in. Then we are doing three scoops of almond butter. These are these are uh, tablespoons. We're just I'm just using a regular spoon. I'm using two spoons so that I can scrape the peanut butter off the first spoon, so you will dirty a lot of spoons. This is also where I ran out of almond butter and had to open another one again. I was very prepared. All right, every last bit off there. Now we're doing two tablespoons of honey. This is the second tablespoon of honey. Uh, I use a whole jar of strawberry jelly. This is where I cannot get the jar open. Now the jar is open and I empty the whole thing in. This one was a little chunky. Um, I probably should have tried to separate it into smaller chunks before getting it into the mess here, but you can kind of mash it up when you start stirring it here in a bit. I'm trying to read how much sugar is in there. I'll have a picture at the end. Get your jelly. All right, then you stir everything up. And you can see I'm trying to separate those jelly globs. I wish I would have done that before I started this part because it was kind of a pain. Uh, I'm going to speed this up from 150% to really fast because I did this for a while. But you basically just stir it until you're satisfied. Now we're in really fast forward. Okay. 
And I think, okay, so I olive oil the pan and you wipe it around with a paper towel. And then uh, you take your bowl and you dump it in there and you spread it out nice and even. Now I fr freeze framed here because my camera stopped videotaping at 10 minutes, which lets you know that I did this in just about 11 minutes. It's in the oven. It's set to 350 degrees. I am setting my microwave timer for 40 minutes and then I'm gonna go do something else. See you later. Now we're back, it's been 40 minutes. I'm gonna melt one more tablespoon of almond butter in a, in a cup or vessel of some kind that can go on the microwave. I do this for about 45 seconds at 30% power. Um, and then I just kinda try and ladle it on there. I used to have this down better, but now I just, I'm just kind of making a mess. So you got to kind of figure out your microwave time and power settings to get it right. But you can still just get it on there and microwaving it loosens it up. And then you can use the spoon to spread it out. That is this whole recipe. Then you cut it up and store it. You can look at these screenshots for the um, sugar amounts. That's what you really want to be careful with with this. Um, this probably is one of the higher sugar count breakfast meals that we do. Um, the almond butter is a little easier because we only use five tablespoons. So you can look at the serving size on that. The jar of uh, uh, strawberry jam, you might need to do a little more thinking about. But if this serves up into six or 12 or however many servings you're doing, maybe it's negligible. That's kind of on you to do that math. All right, uh, I might edit these down more aggressively in the future, but hope this helps. I, I didn't cut it up so you could kind of see every little bit of what I was doing, uh, but it is at 150% speed. Took me about 12 minutes to get it in the oven and then, you know, another minute to melt the peanut butter. All right.